In other news tonight, exclusive details obtained by CBS 7 tonight in the arrest of two Big Spring grandparents for allegedly selling cocaine at their home. Philip and Yolanda Mendoza are charged with the manufacture and delivery of the drug, but it's details of an arrest affidavit of who may be buying the drugs that are the most shocking. CBS 7's Matt Rist has been poring over the documents. Matt, what's so unusual about this case? Jay, well, police tell me it's certainly not the biggest cocaine bust in recent history. The age of the two grandparents involved and details about who may be buying the drugs is what stands out. Allegedly, a school teacher and a lawyer are among customers of the Mendozas. It's a quiet Northwest 8th Street residence. According to a search warrant, 62 and 63 year old Philip and Yolanda Mendoza were charged with the manufacture and delivery of cocaine after they found 31 grams of the powder at the home. That's a shocking to hear somebody that old doing it, you know, but this is life. A multi week investigation notes stop and go traffic consistent with the distribution of narcotics. Cooperating individuals bought cocaine twice from the Mendozas under the direction of police. They are the most popular people in town. They have all these wonderful friends who stop by at all hours of the day and night, can't stay uh, very long, so that's why they leave their vehicles running. An anonymous eyewitness told police, quote, Mendoza's customers are older people and a group of people that most would not suspect use narcotics, such as a teacher and a local lawyer. These are decent people. They just happen to like to get high. That's it. We tried to speak to the Mendozas, but got no answer. Some neighbors on this quiet street jumped to the grandparents' defense. They're good people, you know what I mean? Nothing, what they did here, I think it was uncalled for. So, I mean, and especially take Yolanda, the mom, you know, his wife was uncalled for. Now both Mendozas are out on almost $200,000 worth of bonds. We eventually got their daughter on the phone, but she promptly hung up before answering questions. The same couple who defended their neighbor said if anything was going on, she thinks the wife had no idea about it. Live in the studio, Matt Rist, CBS 7 News.